Okay, in this video, I will explain how to fix normal baking errors. It's basically the same method as Nick Quackenbush explains in this video over here, where he goes through the method of fixing normal baking errors in Substance Designer. However, I will go through the same thing basically for Substance Painter. Okay, let's get to it. So first, let's show what the issue is here. If we bake the textures using the average, average normal setting, then you will see that the edges of the cube here are correct. However, on the top you can see that these details are skewed. These hexagons are supposed to be symmetrical and they're not. The one in the middle is symmetrical because that is in a, basically a correct location for the uh, rays being cast onto the mesh. But the ones on the edge, they create a lot of skewing. The way to, one way to fix this is to deselect average normals, bake again. And then you can see that the uh, skewing is gone. However, there are these lines at the edge of the uh, cube. That's because the low poly is, is not chamfered, but the high poly is, and this creates baking errors. Let's bake again. And there they are. So somehow we need to combine these normal maps so we get the best of both worlds. So the way how to do that is you download a smart material from the link I've shown in the forum. I will place the link on the uh, YouTube video so you can find it here. I put it on my desktop. Okay, so just drag and drop into it, drag and drop this into the smart materials folder, import into shelf. There it is. It's called normal fix. All right. So just drag and drop this into the layer stack and get rid of all the bakes first. Okay, so now let's start baking. Oh, before I forget, what, what's very important is you have to set the normal mixing mode here to replace, otherwise the method won't work. Okay, so we have to bake three textures. One texture will show the correct uh, top of the model, basically, so without any skewing. Uh, another bake will show the correct edges. And yet another normal bake is just to generate a mask. It's to detect where the UV edges are. Okay, so let's do our first bake. So for the first bake, we're going to call it um, normal map, which is uh, uses the average setting. And for that, the dilation width should be anything but zero. So one should do, or any other value, it doesn't really matter. Diffusion should be true, and average normal should be ticked. Okay, let's back that. And let me get to the 2D view also here. So we can't just use this normal bake because any subsequent bakes, they will be overwritten. So uh, we have to export the texture, just right click, export textures, and select additional maps. It will output all the maps, but we just need the uh, normal map in this case. The rest of the maps we will bake later. Okay, so export, open folder, and there it is. In fact, let me delete all the previous results. Okay, let's do this again. Export, open folder, and there is our bake. Now, in order to prevent this from being overwritten, we need to uh, rename it. Let's call it uh, fix 
average normal. Okay, drag and drop this into the shelf. Okay, so let's do the next bake. So the next bag will be used to generate the mask. So it's not a, it's a normal map, map also, but it's just used to detect where the UV edges are. In Substance Designer, there's a proper way to do this. It's uh, called uh, UV to SVG um, baking. But in Substance Painter, there's no such baker. So we need to find a way to bake a map which shows reliably where the edges of the UV shells are. And the only way I've found to do that is just to bake a normal map with a few different settings, which are as follows. You set the dilation width to zero. This makes sure that the baking doesn't extend beyond the UV shells. Um, so the, the colors will be wrapped tightly around the UV, uh, UV shell shells. Then Diffusion should be false, so we get a uniform color in between the UV shells. And then average normals uh, should be true. Okay, let's hope, let's pick this texture. Again, export it. Open folder, and here we see our new bag. Now you can see that this can be used as a mask because the space between the UV shells is black and we can use this in a generator to detect where the edges of the UV shells are. Right, so again, in order to prevent this from being overridden with a subsequent break, okay, first rename, let's call this fix mask normal. The only reason I use the name fix is so I can easily find it in the shelf just by searching. Okay, drag and drop this into the shelf, import, right. So for the third, third normal bag, this is another one which, is, which will be used uh, at the uh, mesh itself, but there's no need to export it because it's, we can use it just right as, as is. So we use uh, big textures again, and with these settings, we set the dilation, dilation width to, well, I can set it to one, as long as it's not zero. Whoops, shouldn't bake actually. Uh, so one, apply diffusion, true, and average normals should be false. Okay, let's bake this. In fact, we can bake all the textures with this setting, so Select all here and bake them all. Uh, except you, the ID has to be set to material color in my case. All right. So let's bake this. Okay, so if we set replace back to combine, just to show this has the same problem as before, but we're going to fix it right now. Okay, so set normal mixing to replace, and let's go fix this. Add normal bake. So here in the imported normal fix smart material, there is a couple of slots which you need to fill in. There's an average normal bake right there. There's a Sorry, it's a non-average normal bag. There's an average normal bag here. And if you select the mask and then the generator below it, <clears throat> there's another slot for the normal bag, which is used as a mask or to generate a mask. Okay, so let's find the correct normal maps. So in the textures shelf, just type in fix. Okay, Substance Painter did just crashed, so I had to set it up again, but we're back. So let's fix this normal bake by drag and dropping the textures we just baked in the correct slots. So type in the shelf search feature fix. There's our normal bakes. And the third one is just in the uh, 
Taxi set settings, additional maps, slot. Right, so first apply the fix average normal big. Um, in fact, we can just start from the bottom, the non normal, non average normal. So the non average normal is just the last big we did. And we can't drag and drop it from the additional maps here onto the slot, but um, we just type in here and then type in the name normal map from mesh that must be this one. Okay. So that's the first one. Second one right there, average normal, that's in the shelf. Fix average normal, drag and drop right there. And the third bake, we have to click on the mask here and then click on the generator and then drag and drop the fix mask right here. Right. Now you can already see that that basically has solved the problem right away. We got no skewing on the top and correct bakes on the edges. So how does this work? Right, so the mask generator here has gener generated a mask. And if we can, we can visualize, visualize it by pressing Alt left mouse button right there. If you click on the generator, there's some options which you can tweak. Edge width is one important one. If you slide that down, you can see that the mask gets really thin. And if you then click somewhere else to go back to the normal view, you can see that it that is a bit too small. It doesn't look as good. So we can increase the size a bit. If I zoom in, you can kind of see what's going on here. Edge width, very big. And edge width, very small. There you go, it's a bit better visibly now. So you slowly increase the size of the uh, mask. So it basically engulfs the entire chamfer. There's some other settings in there, such as edge roundness right there. You can see on the edge of the uh, cube what's it doing. And the blur amount. You definitely want to leave it a little bit blue in there. Okay. So that's basically it. There's a few things to keep in mind that if you apply a normal, uh, a regular material there, let's say plastic glossy, such as this one, then um, you have to make sure it's on. The uh, normal fix is always on top of the stack, otherwise it doesn't look correct. You see, like now the material is on top of the stack and all the normals disappear. So you have to make sure the normal fix is always on top, right there. So now it looks correct. There's one other issue which you need to keep in mind that is if you model any uh, details in the high poly model on the edge of the model or on the uh, hard edges basically then you need to chamfer that edge in the low poly also again just have a look at the tutorial uh, nick puts out towards the end then he explains how to basically fix the edges in the normal map where you put any details in the uh, on the hard edges. So I'll just have a look at that. Basically, you just need to jump for the edge. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or on the Substance Pater forum thread, which I'll post a link to. Thanks for watching.